Translation. Some say that the unborn is born for the glorification of pious kings, and others say that he is born to please King Yadu, one of your dearest devotees. You appear in his family as sandalwood appears in the Malaya Hills. Hmm. So, there are two Malayas, one Malaya hill and one <coughs> this Malaya, Malaysia, now it is known. Formerly, in this part of the world, Malaysia, they were growing sandalwood in great, large scale. Because uh, five thousand years ago, there was good demand for sandalwood. Uh, every person uh, should use the sandal pulp uh, because in India it is tropical country, so this is a good uh, cosmetic. Uh, still, those who can afford during very warm days of summer season, uh, if you apply pulp of sandalwood on your body, you feel no one, it is cool. Yes. So it was the system, still that is going on, but a very small scale, that everyone after taking bath, uh, he showed, uh, smear over the body is sandalwood pulp. Hmm. It will keep the body whole day nice, cool, and calm. Hmm. So that was the uh, cosmetic. Hmm. Now in the Kaliyo, uh, that is called prasadham. Just like every country, the system is after taking bath. You dress your hair, uh, add something, scent it. Uh, so in India it was the system that after taking bath, having tilak, uh, going to the deity room, offering obeisances, then the prasadam, chandan prasadam was taken from the deity room and it was used. This is called prasadhanam. Uh, in Kaliju, in the, it is said that snana eva hi prasadhanam. If one can take bath nicely, that is prasadhanam. Hmm. So much. No more this cosmetic or sandalwood oil or rose scent or rose water. These are finished. Uh, and that snānāvīva prasādhanāṁ, simply by taking bath. Uh, in, well, I was in India in the beginning, so taking bath is very ordinary thing because even the poorest man will take early morning bath. Uh, but actually when I came to our country, I saw that taking bath is also difficult. Uh, taking bath, that is also not in practice. Perhaps once in a week. Hmm. We are accustomed to see in India thrice in a day. Uh, and hmm. I have seen in New York the friends are coming to another friend's house because one has no facility for taking shower bath coming to a friend's house, is it not? <coughs> I have seen it. 
So, the symptoms of Kali Yuga describe that it will be very difficult also to take even bath. Snana eva hi prasadhanam. And dhyakhyam kutumba bharanam. Dhyakhyam, dhyakhyam many means one who is famous for his pious activities. He is called dhyakhyam. The dhyakhyam, this word comes from dhokha. Dhokha means expert. So dhyakhyam kutumba bharanam. In Kali Yuga, if a person can maintain a family, family means wife and a few children, or one or two children, that is called family. But family does not mean in India like that. Family means a joint family. Uh, joint family, the father, the sons, the nephews, uh, the um, sister, her sons, they join together. That is called family. Uh, but in the Kali uh, it will be difficult even to maintain family. Uh, if one can maintain his family, uh, uh, in New York when he was there, one old lady was coming. So he has, she had a grown-up son. So I asked her, why didn't you get your son married? Uh, yes, he can marry if he, if he can maintain the family. I did not know that, that maintaining a family is a difficult job here. I did not know that. Uh, so these are described in the Bhagavatam. If one can maintain a family, oh, he is very glorious man. Uh, oh, he is maintaining fire. Uh, uh, if the girl has got a husband, she is cons- considered to be very fortunate. So actually these things are there.